Hey guys, I uh, just want to make another video on one of my real estate deals that I've done. So this is another property I purchased back in the day and I kind of want to relate it to cryptocurrency because when it comes to cryptocurrency, it's a lot, a lot about timing and unfortunately some people decided to invest when it was at the all time high and now when we're hitting one of the lows, um, people have to have confidence to actually buy in because I think it's a great time to buy in. But let's first just go over my real estate deal and then we'll talk some crypto as well. So um, I actually added, added value to this property. It was a five bedroom, three bath and no, it was a two bath. And we actually ended up adding two, two bathrooms. So, um, and I got this experience later on. So um, I bought the property, let's just go through it anyways. Um, so. What's really interesting about timing, and I want you guys to kind of check this out, is um, look, so someone in 2004 paid almost 600 grand, and then look at this in six years, and once again, like this could be you guys, you know, if you had been buying in December, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't just hold, because obviously now, I don't know if you saw the estimate, it was 800 grand. So even if you overpaid at the top of the market, in 2004, which this isn't even the top, it would have been more expensive, but let's just say it's 600 grand in 04. I ended up buying it and I love the price on this. Uh, when did it, listing removed? I bought this and here we go, 385. Dude, I got a good deal on this. I don't. I, don't, I, I thought I paid over 400. Wow, man, I stole this property. Anyway, so there you go. I actually ended up paying 385 for a property that was 600, and this is in 2012. And now let's just go up. And supposedly, if I wanted to sell it today, I could get 800 grand. <laughs> so I doubled my money. And what's interesting too is so rent. Once again, these Zillow estimates are stupid because if you're a hustler and you know what you're doing. You can definitely get a lot more rent. I'm right now collecting 4,500 a month from a tenant. Um, so I guess I'm getting a grand above market rent. So now how do we tie this into cryptocurrency? Um, obviously real estate investments are great. And unfortunately about crypto, they don't have passive income. I mean, there's some other tokens or whatever. But when it comes to basically profiting in any kind of investment, you're gonna have to have discipline and you really have to believe in the investment. So when prices fall right now, if you're losing sleep at night and you don't want to hold on to your crypto, um, you either should sell or spend time educating yourself because I do feel like there's a lot of promise in cryptocurrency. And um, even if you overbought that price of 585 or 600K in 04, if you hold long enough look at it right now it's worth 800 so you're still up 200 grand and it's the same with crypto so if you're basically panicking the best thing you can do is if you really have to and it is a bad market you can sell a little bit but once it starts to hit like new lows you should definitely be buying and i wouldn't make just a giant order all at once i would definitely do something called dollar cost averaging and if you don't know what dollar cost averaging is, please subscribe to my channel because I repeat it a gazillion times and I'll probably get right now in the comments people complaining that I'm talking about it. But anyway, so when it comes to crypto and real estate investing, there's a lot of timing, but it's also having a discipline to hold, um, especially if you don't have a crap coin. And that's why if you follow my channel, I highly recommend staying in the top 10, at least as you're a newbie and as you educate yourself and you learn more, then you can venture on to other coins. Anyways, let me know what you would think about this property, this real estate deal. And I also posted um, more information about my Instagram and my LinkedIn on another video on my real estate investments. So I do wanna kinda open this up and if other people have questions or you leave comments, I'll try to answer them. Um, and for sure, I don't check the YouTube comments cause they blow up and there's a lot of those uh, random comments. I mean, you guys can go through the comments. So if you really want an answer or you want me to really, really pay attention, just follow me on Instagram or add me on LinkedIn and send me a message and we can talk on either platform. And if you can't do any of those, um, I'll eventually post my email. <laughs>
I think if you Google Google my LinkedIn name, you should be able to find my email. But if you don't, um, I'll post an email sooner than later. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.